Russell's paradox. And so this is a paradox in set theory. So we're going to look at some of this stuff like a little bit more carefully later, but I think this is a decent way or de decent time to look at it in the first place. Okay, so uh, let's set capital R equal to the following set. And so it's going to be the set of all X such that X is not an element of itself. So that's the set R. So notice that R is non-empty, right? So R is non-empty. So note that, for example, the interval from 0 to 1 uh, is an element of R, right? Because the interval from 0 to 1 does not contain itself as an element, right? The interval from 0 to 1 only contains numbers as an element. Can't contain a set as an element, right? Then, uh, well, you know, essentially all number sets are going to be inside of R, right? So the natural numbers, and then here I'll say this one in words, but then I'll just write the symbol for it just like as a little definition of the symbol. So this fancy C, 0, 1. So that's the set of all continuous functions on the unit interval. So set of all continuous functions, that's also an R, right? Okay, so anyway, we know that R is non-empty. So now here is the question that we're going to build into a mathematical statement. So maybe the question is, is this a mathematical statement? statement? Okay, so um, R contains itself. So remember, oh, mathematical statement is like a statement that is either true or false, right? Its truth is non-ambiguous. So is the truth of this statement ambiguous or non-ambiguous? Or maybe it even has a deeper problem. R would be a set of numbers, right? No. R is not a set of numbers. Oh, right. No, R is just a set of sets that don't contain themselves. Like these are continuous functions. The set of all colors, right? The set of all colors, blue, the set of blue, red, orange, that's an R, right? The set of all colors. Kind of any set that you can think of without working too hard is an R. Okay, so let's just, let's just follow the logic. So let's say, what if it were true? So if it were true, then we would have R is an element of R, right?